does the Inland Revenue Department, IRD, collect the levy from the sale of locally made charcoal? The answer is no. Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre continues to attempt to cut through the heavy fog of disinformation about the levy. A reporter with a copy of the draft legislation in hand queried whether the levy is imposed on wood and articles of wood, wood charcoal. The Prime Minister explained that the bill had been amended in Parliament and the levy does not apply to local charcoal merchants but only imported charcoal goods. It says here chapter 44 except tariff number 44.01 and related subheadings wood and articles of wood, wood charcoal. That is the actual That is which one? Is that an amendment? Uh, let me read it for you. No, it's not like you heard it. It's an amendment. It is the bill for consideration. Is there an amendment, Miss? There's no amendment. No, there, there, there wouldn't be there. There wouldn't be the next step. But it is in the legislation. No, the, the, the legislation. The legislation is no wrong. I am the legislation was amended several times. There are no local charcoal merchants registered with the IRD for the collection of the levy, so they cannot be taxed with the levy because they are not liable. Pierre explains that the list of items under the levy is extensive, but this is also subject to revision as the measure evolves. So We're not perfect. Wrong. I never said so. We're not perfect. You see, listen to me, so miss, miss, listen to me. Can, can I answer you? Can I answer you? Yeah, We're not perfect. If we've decided, if we've seen, all legislation is, that is legislation that deals with thousands of products. Listen to me, please. That legislation deals with thousands of products. Thousands. If we ever realize that something has slipped through the cracks, we'll amend it. We're not perfect. The same way if we had paid for vaccines and we had got the money, we would have come and said, listen to me, we, we made an error. We're not perfect. After all, I'm, I'm very surprised I'm about your vaccine money. The Prime Minister clarified that the levy is enforced by two agencies, the Customs and the Inland Revenue Department. He stressed that while services attract the levy, the stamped duty for legal services are exempt. The rollout on services was delayed to October to allow firms to adjust their accounting systems. One in the customs. So when the goods come to the country, that a health and security levy, it is charged at the customs. There is no change in any software for anybody, those who import. At the services level, we did make some amendments. We said that if you are providing service, legal services, you can't get tax on the stamp duty. Okay? So we removed it. So the taxation, the consideration doesn't include the stamp duty. That was to, to support the consumer. And then he said the 12% levy will come at that point. But we recognize it will take some time. So we extended it to October for the services. The Prime Minister again made it clear that zero-rated items are not subjected to the levy. Furthermore, food is free from the levy. We've made it clear. Nothing that was not vatable before, there is no issue. There is no heaven's secret levy. You know, I tell you something. Eh? Sometimes I listen to these things when Mondian Minister tells me, tell me, because, you know, and then I wonder, I really wonder, because it fascinates me. Simple things. The Finance Act, you can read it. National Economic Fund, you can read it. Simple things. If there was, made a point again, let me make it uh, pollucidly clear. Any item that was non vatable or it was zero rated or it was VAT exam shall attract no health and security levy. The 2.5% levy on goods was rolled out in July 2023. Food, medicine and medical equipment are exempt. The levy is intended to fund universal health care. 
to cover more citizens medically and to boost the police force's crime-fighting capabilities. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.